Okay, now we're going to test the one-to-one -one test for sole phosphate, which is oxidized uh, inorganic phosphorus. And uh, we wanted to uh, pull out the, uh, the, the correct bottle uh, for phosphate. And we're going to be on step four in, in the educator's guide. So we open up the bottle, pull out the strip. And then after we do that, we go ahead and close it. There's a pad on the bottom uh, of the soil phosphate uh, test strip. If you remember on the soil nitrate test, we had a bottom pad for the nitrate and an upper pad for the nitrite. In this case, we just have the one for the soil uh, phosphate test. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and use the same sample that we used for soil pH, soil nitrate, and soil phosphorus. Uh, and again, rest your hand. We're going to insert it into the soil water solution. So we break surface tension and we'll wait about a minute for the water to start to move up the strip. So here's where you have to exercise a little bit of patience. If I immerse it too deep, it'll get discolored by the soil. But I can always uh, real lightly remove the soil uh, water solution from the pad after it's changed colors. Okay, it's starting to change colors a little bit, so we're picking up some phosphate. So now what I want to do is remove it. We're going to uh, compare uh, to the color chart on the, on the phosphate test strip bottle. It's on the side of the bottle. And what we want to do is find the closest color that we have. In this case, we get almost a perfect match. It's right at 15 parts per million. Uh, and then we want to go ahead and record that in our table, in the educator's guide. Uh, and then some of the interpretations that would go with this is uh, 15 parts per million. Uh, is, is that adequate for the crops that you're raising or not? And also you need to consider the, the time of the year. It might be different if we tested in the spring versus the fall. Uh, typically for phosphate uh, tests, uh, it's ideal again to do them in the spring for spring planted crops. Uh, and in the early fall, if it's a fall planted crop, and then determine whether or not our soil phosphorus uh, is adequate or we need to add uh, fertilizer, et cetera.